Rari! Rari! Hello, you beautiful people. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to more esports talk. Today, we meshed together a couple of stories for all of you gaming fans out there and all of you esports fans out there. First of all, that being G2 and G2 Carlos. If you guys do not know Ocelot, maybe making one of the biggest poaching plays in Valorant history already. Taking to Twitter a couple days back, which I think something is very ironic and something I, I don't think would be possible, but would be one of the smartest moves G2 could ever make. That being Carlos expressing his love and his want for TSM Myth. In case you guys don't know for Valorant right now, G2 is one of the top, if not by some eyes out there, the single best European Valorant roster. And ironically so, TSM is actually one of uh, the best current North American rosters. Despite their first strike performance, both teams are equally very, very good in their regions. And Myth has become known as the kind of the meme coach for the TSM Valorant roster, as to which Carl is now expressing his want for TSM Myth to join G2. As in classic Carl fashion, uh, he does not hold back. He says, I'd give my left testicle to get TSM Myth into G2. To which Myth did reply with a simple gif and Carl then said, how about the right one? I'll do anything. And I'm just telling you right now, if you guys are esports fan side of things, uh, G2 Carl kind of notorious for what has been called poaching, never confirmed poaching. It's a, it's kind of a constant joke out there as well of taking players under contract. If you guys don't know what poaching is in the gaming world, so that's why I joke about it here and there. I, I would say though, if G2 Myth did become a thing, that would be probably the biggest Valorant signing we have seen so far and one of the biggest steals in the Valorant scene as well. I have, I don't think this is ever gonna happen. Not a single chance. TSM Myth has become kind of his foundation, his home, his brand. I don't think they would ever let him go. That's my opinion. What do you guys think about that? Now, also very secondly, we talked about this past week as well. That being Pokimane doing something pretty incredible, setting a max donation amount. Now, last week she talked about stop giving free stuff to influencers with money because she, you know, doesn't want th those free things. A thing that a lot of streamers have said out there. And then she follows it up by this week working with Streamlabs to make her max donation amount now just $5. Most streamers make a minimum donation amount. She has now made a max and XQC gave a reaction that a lot of us can agree with. You know, some people out there will always find a way to turn this somehow into a bad thing. Every time that one creator, okay, one creator does something, okay, that's good. For some reason, I don't know why, Everybody, instead of getting, oh, that's good. You know what they do? Instead, they, they don't do that. They say, holy shit, all the other ones not doing it, they're bad. And that's really a really, really odd way of thinking and doing things. And this happens on Twitch across the board every time. Anytime somebody does something, it's always like this. It's not, we never ever ever celebrate somebody doing good. We always shame others for not doing it, okay? So I love a guy like XQC reacting in that kind of way because we can all agree Pokimane somehow was going to see flack for doing something that a lot of streamers have never or never will do, which is pretty remarkable. Very lastly, thanks to all of you guys in my Discord. Thanks to Random for my Discord as well. I was talking about Pokey has to be one of the first to ever do this. You know, one of the first to actually ever shut down donations entirely was Disguised Toast. I believe back in last year before he made the switch to Facebook Gaming, Facebook Gaming got a steal with that guy, especially with his blow up with Among Us doing very well on YouTube, as well as during his Facebook streams. When he was on Twitch though, I think he was one of the first ever top Twitch streamers to simply just stop taking donations so his, you know, his watchers can actually just buy themselves something instead. I wanted to give a quick shout where it's due because that is also very remarkable. Seeing people like Disguised Toast and Pokimane, maybe others in the future do a very similar thing by the way tyler one has hinted at doing a similar thing if he does i'm sure we'll talk about it so shout certainly do and a very very cool action by pokimane as xqc gives a reaction that you know quite frankly is, is probably pretty accurate until next time what do you guys think about this thank you all for watching thank you all for subbing you guys are amazing take care of yourselves i'll see you back here <clears throat> sometime soon okay bye